my refrigerator is totally packed. That is, wow, it is bright out at six o'clock in the morning. The sun is just beating down on me. That's the one good thing about having to sit, I guess, is I was able to hit the grocery stores. So I totally did a lot of shopping. Today's payday, but I'm not gonna have to touch my money. I can just leave it in the bank. No more fast food for the entire week. I think I have almost a total week supply of food within my refrigerator and my cupboards, which is gonna be good because I'm heading up to Chicago. And food is not cheap in Chicago. One thing I'm really excited to try is this. Look at that. I found it at a gas station. The girl behind the counter says they're amazing and awesome and full of marshmallowy, chocolatey goodness. It's kind of like a pop tart. It's just really thick. Look how thick that thing is. Don't know if I'm going to put it in the oven or just eat it raw. I think I'm going to eat it raw. Well, I made it to where I need to be. I'm picking up food. Food. Food for you guys. If you eat chicken, I guess. If you don't eat chicken, I'm not picking up food for you. But I'm going to leave my Osmo in. You're not allowed to video record or take pictures or anything at these type of places. And I don't normally do it. I don't. But these guys are just staring at me. So I'm going to leave my Osmo in and sneak my camera over to them while they're just kind of chilling and hanging out, not knowing what's coming next. Hey guys. Hello. Boy, you guys are filthy dirty. Filthy dirty. Oh. I was just gonna talk to the chickens. That's all I was gonna do as I was recording. I was kind of holding the phone down by my waist, shooting upward, and uh, the lady that does our paperwork came out and says, you, got, you can't take pictures. Okay, that's okay. But it smells over there, well, it smells like chickens. But yeah, they're, they keep them pretty, uh, this is different. This place here, this is Wayne's Farms. It's different than Purdue or Tyson and things like that. They got some pretty big fans to cool the area to keep the chickens all nice and cool and relaxed. And they keep the area pretty clean. It's actually one of the cleaner, I don't wanna call it a slaughterhouse, but a chicken, I don't know what you would call it, but it's one of the cleaner ones. I don't I just don't like coming to them. I don't like and I don't like going inside. I don't. If I was ever going to become a vegetarian, it'd be the reason would be because I come to places like this. But when I go out to eat or go to the grocery store and I walk down the uh, food aisle, I just can't help myself. I can't help myself. I need that steak or bacon or ham. Just don't send me to places like this to pick it up. This is an act actually a pretty awesome little town. Look at that, an old railroad station. Sitting right here at this little street corner. What's the name of the town? Albertville. It's definitely hard getting around. I was supposed to make a right turn there, but no trucks. Now I gotta make a right turn here. Alabama makes everything so difficult and small. It's definitely a pain trying to use the GPS in a larger vehicle. It just tells you the car route, not oversized vehicle route in these type of situations. I was so lost, so lost here in Alabama. Finally found a semi big road and check out what is in front of me. Wait a second, you can't see it yet. Would you look at what's in front of me? Look at the rockets. They even have a space shuttle over there. It's kind of like Kennedy Space Center, but 
not in Florida. Look at that place. I have no idea if there is room to park a truck. It does not look like it. But that place looks amazing. definitely something I want to check out one day but I'm probably gonna have to ride my motorcycle up here because I don't think I get get, get my truck in that parking lot at all I am parked I'm parked for the day I can't drive no more I mean physically I can but legally I can't I'm out of Alabama now I drove through just a little bit of Tennessee and I just crossed into Kentucky I'm going to go ahead and start cooking a little bit of food here, which is going to take 40 minutes. 40 minutes to cook that. Ugh. If I had a microwave, it would be a lot faster, but I prefer regular oven stuff than microwave. But what's kind of cool is where I'm parked right now, Churchill Downs is directly behind me. For those of you <coughs> that don't know what Churchill Downs is, it's a racetrack, a horse racetrack. Pretty famous up here in Kentucky. And it's right behind me, right back here. But there's a big fence and everything else, so I can't actually go over to the property. But... Dun, dun, dun. Zoom, zoom. Bad wolf can. Oh, bad. Is that upside down? No, it's not. Bad wolf can. So I'm going to take bad wolf out. Fly around Kentucky Downs. What's it called? Churchill Downs? Some, I'm not into horse racing. I just seen the sign right there. Churchill Downs, this exit. So I'm going to go over there. Fly the drone above it. Hopefully I don't get in any trouble. But this is going to take 40 minutes to cook anyway. And I just don't want to sit here and wait for that to bake. So anyway, let's go out, shoot a little bit of aerial video. Well, wasn't that fun and exciting? I'm having a problem with the new application, the new DJI application. For some reason, it won't let me download the videos directly to the phone so I can use Adobe to edit them. So I have to use the application itself to edit and it leaves a watermark at the bottom of the screen. I don't think I like that and there's I mean, I can't pay to get rid of that watermark for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I need to contact somebody over at DJI. All right, everybody. That's about it because I... Yeah, because look at this. Look at that skin. Ooh. A little red. A little red. 
from the sun beating in my window. But there's really nothing else going on. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Beam my telephone to my TV and Netflix. All right, everybody. Until tomorrow, I love you all. Peace out, everybody. Peace.